I don't even know how much time has passed. I'm assuming it's easily four hours. So I basically have done three attempts now. I'm on my fourth. Rick! What is up guys, Taco Rick back again with a video. Been slacking on the videos for obvious reasons. Very busy with other stuff including DJing and business and work. So, back with another video. Today's video is very interesting because we're going to be tinting the headlights, the taillights, the side markers, and the fog lamps. It's going to be insane. So like I said, today we're going to be tinting all the headlights, taillights, everything basically. I have tint film right here. This tint film I bought from Premium Audios Auto Stylings. They have a whole YouTube channel, so check them out. The link's right there and in the description down below. Great guys, um, very reputable people, and they have high quality tint, which is why I ordered it. And that means this actually cost a premium. Get it. Also picked up a razor blade from them because I don't really have a nice razor blade to cut this with. And also picked up a foam squeegee. Some other things we're going to need for this install are a heat gun. You're going to need that as well. As well as a squirt bottle of some sort with water. Now other things we're going to need are like some microfiber towels to clean off the area. As well as you might want to get a clay bar to clay bar your headlights if they are not as new as mine. I'm going to be clay barring the headlights at least because of bugs, but um, basically we're going to need to clean the headlights and taillights as best as we can, basically get a brand spanking new clean, and then we'll be applying the tint, and this is going to be a wet application, I'm going to be walking you guys through that downstairs in the garage. Let's get into the video. So we're out here at the garage right now, and basically I'm cleaning off the headlights, getting them ready to go um, to apply the tint. And what I'm doing right now, all I've been using is just some Meguiar's Quick Detailer, some microfiber tiles and clay bar. There's just a little chunk of clay bar I have. If you guys are unfamiliar with clay bar, it's gonna be linked in the description below. Meguiar's makes it. A lot of people make clay bars. So you can get pick up clay bar kits. They're really good if you have an older car and your paint feels like rough after you've cleaned it. It will take care of that. It gets rid of all the grit that's attached to your paint. Highly recommend clay bar in cars. We'll get into that more probably in a video when I talk about how I detail cars. I already did this side. I'm gonna do that side now and I will show you guys that. One thing you're going to want to keep in mind is that you are clay barring it, you are cleaning it, but you probably won't get everything, especially if your headlights are older. There will be some nicks and some chips in your headlight lens. It's, it's plastic. It's going to happen. Rocks are going to hit it. You're going to have chips in there. Um, bugs actually can cause chips as well, which is another reason why you want to tint it so that you have a layer of protection in front of uh, your headlights. That's You can get clear tint for this. You can get regular tint like I'm going to be using, which is a smoke tint. And you can get even further into blacked out tint, but that's besides the point. Another tip is that you wanna make sure you clean the surrounding area around the headlight as well. You wanna make sure it's clean, because when we lay this tint down, it's gonna overlap on both sides. We don't want any contaminants that could possibly get up underneath of it because it is a wet application. We're gonna be putting this down with the water and applying it wet, so dirt and stuff, if it's on the side, can get into the headlight area where we're gonna be squeegeeing out. So. You want to keep that in mind as well to make sure you clean the exterior around it as well. I'm going to do the fog light here and then we're going to start on our first headlight. Alright, so just wanted to show you guys that I got all my tools laid out here on a nice little workstation. I also have this Harbor Freight glove. It's kind of microfiber. It'll help push out air bubbles as well as using the squeegee so I can put it on my hand and push out air bubbles closer to curves and edges to make it a little bit easier. So I have the tint here. I'm going to be laying the tint out and cutting to length the amount I need. And then I'm going to do one last wipe off, spray it down with the water we got over there, and start applying the tint. Now I will point out that some vehicles, premium audio styling, actually sell the exact cut so you don't have to actually like get some stock and then just cut it to length. They actually have it already pre-cut to the dimensions of your light and some Amazon sellers do it as well I wanted to buy some premium stuff and do it myself so that's what we're doing I'm gonna cut this blank now and then clean it off one more time and let's get applied alrighty well I don't even know how much time has passed. I'm assuming it's easily four hours. So I basically have done three attempts now. I'm on my fourth. The, the first one, terrible. Second one, kind of figured out what I need to do properly to do it. 
And the third one, which is this one, actually turned out pretty good. I mean, there's some minor stuff here and there that I'll show you guys better in the sunlight. But for the most part, it turned out pretty well. And I used some scrap to try and do this fog light. It is a little bit messed up. I did do the emblem. The emblem turned out great. It's easier when it's a flat surface. And this was my fourth attempt. I got to trim it so far. The key that I've noticed is you got to put it on here and then really heat it and stretch it. Because of this sharp bend here, you have to really stretch this back and over, which I wasn't doing on the first. I was just trying to lay it up in and just barely do it, and then it would crease here. So you really got to stretch it up and over on the sides to push this bulge out of the tint. Basically, I'm down to just trimming up all the sides here, and then this headlight will be done. Unfortunately, though, I have nowhere near enough tint to do the tail lights. I kind of, coming down here, had an idea that I was going to mess up multiple times uh, and I should have bought a lot more tint but I didn't. I started with the headlights because those are the main ones I wanted to get tinted because the tail lights look fine as they are. I'm obviously going to tint them um, in the future anyways. It's coming together and looking pretty sweet for me doing it myself. I definitely understand now why the professionals like premium get paid so much to do these tent jobs because it it's it's hard and it takes quite a while. Anyways, I'm going to trim up this side over here. I'm sorry I didn't really film much but you know this is one of those where it, it got I got really frustrated and I just really needed to focus. I hope you guys understand and basically I'm just gonna show you guys the final product. Future day when I do the tail lights, since I know how to do it now, I'll do a way better job filming. So now the last thing that I can tint that I have enough tint for is these side markers. Now you can see I already did this one. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do this one right here. So here we go. I still have to clean that one before we even dive into it. I know I'm not like anywhere near done yet, but can we just admire? Look at this. This, this is just, so I can't wait to see what the lights look like through this too. I really like that badge being blacked out. That looks so dope. The smoke. All right, so now back to this. Okay guys, this was probably a very terrible tutorial video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it in some form of that. Sorry that I look like I'm squinting like really crazy, but there's a sun right here and it's really freaking bright. Anyways, that is all for the tinting of the headlights. The real question is how much has my uh, light been reduced in terms of the headlights so later on this evening I will go through and I will drive it and see what they look like but like I said this is just a temporary solution I do have intentions of buying new headlights that are blacked out already on the inside so the projectors are fully visible but anyways guys that's all for this video if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up be sure to hit that subscribe button because I am making videos about this truck and you should watch them and as the new saying goes that's all guys taco Rick out peace